Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog, a weekend vlog, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog. It's um, Friday morning, it's very, very gloomy, and we have a really fun, busy weekend planned, um, and I'm really excited to take y'all along with me. I guess Mikkel, you know, single Mikkel, Texas Mikkel is way more social than married California Mikkel, because <laughs> I have a lot of social plans this weekend. I think it's gonna be fun, and I think it's gonna be good for me, and today, social plans is getting lunch with a new friend who's actually if you're new here the last six years i was a part of a church in la called mosaic and they expanded to a few campuses and um, my new friend was a part of mosaic in seattle and she just moved to austin as well so some of the pastors from mosaic kind of paired us together we're gonna go get lunch she's on the north side of austin though so i'm gonna meet her at the domain which i went to recently in a vlog with y'all a huge outdoor mall and i figured while i'm there i'm gonna get the last few christmas presents that i need to get we can do that together i think it will be fun here's to a lot of adventure i am dressed and i'm ready to go about to start the drive up to the domain but before i drive i wanted to have a car chat car thought it's been a while since we've done this so we used to do this all the time on my channel and the car chat today is something that is very prevalent in my life um, especially right now but for the last year or so and that is stress. <laughs> if you're new here, you, you might not know this about me, but this last year has been one of a lot of different health concerns, um, new diagnoses, and multiple of my doctors had told me like, girl, you got to get your stress in order. Your stress is causing these new diagnoses to flare and to get worse. So do whatever you can to lower the stress in your life. And I did a lot of different things. I started therapy. I got like an unlimited yoga membership. I need to do that again here in Austin. I started asking for help and hiring out help. And I started CBD every single day. And I have been using CBD daily for Oh gosh, I might be nearing six months now. And that's a hard thing to find, you know, to like find a CBD brand that you can trust. And I'm genuinely so excited that the brand I ended up finding and using daily is now partnering with me on this video. And I am working with Equilibria. I love them. I'll tell you about them, but I do have a code, which is Mikkel Jancy for 15% off for new customers. So if you haven't tried them before, now's your time. Use the code. Like I said, CBD felt like this whole new world and I kind of didn't know who to trust, where to go, put forth a lot of research and landed on them for several reasons. First off, they are for women by women. So women founded, owned, and they specifically make this with women in mind, which I think is amazing. They have a very large product line. Love a lot of their products. One of my favorite is the Daily Drops, as you can see, um, because this one, this one's almost empty. Good girl's got a backup. This is Winter Citrus, very good, but I think my favorite is still the mint flavor because um, it just feels very clean and nice. Speaking of clean, their ingredients, very clean. It's medical grade, it's full spectrum, and they really pride themselves on not having any fillers or fluff or weird things that you don't need, you know, very pure. And the thing that I think is really cool about them, because this is what I needed the most, was they pride themselves, their main mission is education. Um, Cause for me, it was like a whole new world. And they have a one-on-one -on -one dosage support team where if you are a customer, you can actually schedule a phone call or even do it over email if you're low on time. And you can have a meeting with one of their highly trained experts who, you know, are pharmacists or doctors, or they're not just customer support people. They are people very knowledgeable in health fields. And the thing that I learned is the importance of a routine. So CBD works best when you take it like a vitamin, same time every day consistently. And then after two to three months of doing that, that's when you really start to see the effects. And that's when I really started to see the effects too. So they do also offer a subscription-based model, which is great because you won't forget, you won't run out, you actually save some money that way. So that's an option. You could buy it one off just to try it for a while or highly recommend trying a subscription. I actually even, for the days that I'm extra stressed, um, I keep these little calming melts in my purse. And these are just little five milligram, I think. Yeah. Tablets. I only have two left. <laughs> that's how much I love them. So I just wanted to share because that's something that has really, truly helped me with my stress levels. And I'm so glad I integrated this into my life a while ago because obviously did not predict a divorce to happen. And the fact that that was already in my arsenal, I think has really helped me navigate this season of life and the stress that it brings. So I'm incredibly thankful. Um, thank you to Equilibria for partnering with me and offering a promo code for my friends online. It means a lot. And I'll have that all 
linked down below. It's officially getting sunny. Let's hit the road. Let's go to the mall. Let's go get some lunch. <gasps> We're going to a place called Flower Child? Flower Child? Flower Girl? Flower Child. They have the best gluten-free mac and cheese and I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be a good day. Leaving lunch, it was delicious. Had some great gluten-free mac and cheese. Got a coffee and the domain's huge, so I'm taking quite the trek to anthropology to find some Christmas presents. Oh, wait, speaking of Christmas presents, that's a huge Christmas present. <laughs> Successfully finding a lot of good presents in here. I'm very pleased. Um, I'll show you a haul maybe back in the car. Ah, home! So most of these gifts are going to friends I'm seeing next week. So hopefully after this vlog comes out, I think, so I can show you. One thing is a little something for my sister. So Jacqueline, if you're watching this, it's not the main part of your present, but skip. If you want to be fully surprised, Anthropology is giving the cutest gift wrap, like boxes, tags <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't get you anything i'm so sorry but it makes it so easy so i'm excited <laughs> so one thing i got for a friend i'm seeing next week i really want all of these for myself so to have the satisfaction of buying it i'm getting it as a gift for someone but this is categories and it looks like a book and they have like all the different games and you can put them on your bookshelf and they look like books so that's one gift that i got one of my friends is just going through a tough season also, similar to me. So I got her a few things to make a little self-care kit. This is like a body therapy kit. It has nail therapy, foot, hair, and split in therapy. So you know, different masks, it says from head to toe, quite literally. This is a little puzzle. It says mini mantras, and this is what it looks like when you build it. You're doing great. That's what it says, right? Yeah, you're doing great. These, these all three go together, but I should show you my sister's thing first. This has become my sister's favorite candle from Anthropology, and I think I like it more than the volcano candle. So I got her the big one. This is also Voluspa, yes, also Voluspa, and it is the French Cade Lavender. I will say, when you smell it not lit, it smells a little overwhelming, but when you light it, I feel like the scent changes a lot and it just smells very like clean, fresh. Similar vibes to fresh laundry. Um, so I got her the big one and I got my friend a little one to go with the other couple of things. So those were the gifts. I did also go onto Sephora. They were having their little 20% off thing that you can use once. So I rebought some things I'm out of, like my face wash, which is just the jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant. Tried a couple new things I've always wanted to try. I've always wanted to try the Olaplex hair mask. Um, my friend Anna, who does hair, says she likes it, so I'll trust it. And then I regret this. I regret getting this because it's so much more expensive than a normal dry shampoo, but I wanted to try the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. This was a total whim, but I love Ilia, so I got their eyeshadow palette. I have not bought myself an eyeshadow palette in maybe three years, <laughs> but I just like the like warm nude colors on this, and it's clean makeup. I had a lot of points, so all of these remaining things were free. Normally their selection for points, I'm like, mm, I don't think I'd use any of that, so I just like let them roll over, but all of their things, I picked up five free things. So this is another hair repair treatment by Amika and I've been using their shampoo and conditioner and I've really liked it. So we'll see if we like that. This is, I've heard so many good things about this. The Biosance like nighttime serum. Ilia was another one that was on their free shelf. So Ilia mascara, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. And then I, I just chose those four, but the Sephora employee was like, I love this. You should add this on also as one of your free things. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so it's like a, I am not gonna try to say the, the brand right. I know it's a common brand. I'm just gonna butcher it, but overnight toner and moisturizer. So it was fun to get so many freebies. 
That's my haul. I'm gonna take out Max on a walk. I took Max on a walk and then checked the package room and guess what came in? I'm so excited to see this in person. This is a project for us to do this vlog. I'm so excited to see it. <gasps> Yay! It's the temporary wallpaper for underneath the island. And it just looks very office building-y to me. So I wanted to temporary wallpaper over it. And I got this pattern that is like, it does read a little more gold than um, what's the color called? I think it was supposed to be like a, like an orange. Oh, it's fun. It's a little like sunbursts, but in like a little geometrical pattern. I like it for a couple reasons. Y'all know my favorite verse is sweet like honey. <laughs> Proverbs 1624 kind words are good for the body and healthy to the soul like honey. Um, so it kind of has like a honeycomb pattern and then little sunshines are happy. So I thought it was happy and joyful and fun without being too in your face. I hope this is enough. I figured better to order too little and then order more than to spend too much. So let's do that this, this vlog. Oh, I'm excited. I think I'm going to shower and put on comfy clothes and maybe watch some sort of movie. We never watch movies. Does that sound good? Oh, yes. That's my plan for tonight. Cheers to that. Good morning. It's Saturday set an alarm this morning because we are going on a walk with that new friend that goes to the church I went to last week. And I've met five or six different people organically, just like around, that also go to that same church. So I don't know, I feel like God's orchestrating something, just leaning into it. We're gonna take a walk with Max. And last night, Netflix literally yesterday released a show. By now, by the time this comes out, it's over a week out. So you've probably heard of it, but called 20-somethings in Austin about these eight 20-something year olds that moved to Austin kind of start all over whether they're looking for a job or a relationship one girl's 26 and went through a divorce and it's just kind of like just got to figure out life and I was like what so I watched five episodes <laughs> and I got cookies from true food kitchen so cheers that was a great Friday night today's a social Saturday a feel-good Friday a social Saturday all for the alliteration. <laughs> One of the best things in life is when you're having so much fun that you lose track of time. I uh, hung out with my walk friend this morning and some friends around the apartment for like two hours longer than I was planning to because we were all just having such a fun time. And now Anna is almost here to pick me up. So I was gonna shower <laughs> and we're skipping that. <laughs> but Max and I walked three miles and now he is pooped so that's great for me to head out and he'll probably take a nice long nap and go get brunch with anna i love social mikhail who is she where has she been social mikhail's thriving i don't like being on my own i could use someone to hold Trying to fill the void, but my Home from cold. brunch and walking around South Congress and I'm feeling very inspired to try to do a little home improvement project and hang that removable wallpaper. I don't have any tools. <laughs> I own a hammer and some screws and some nails and I need to take the face plates off the outlets. So I'm gonna try to get creative with, I don't know, maybe like a butter knife or something and see how it works. I have met plenty of neighbors. I can message them and see if anybody has a screwdriver or I can buy one, but uh, let's try to be self-sufficient first. I also need like an X-Acto knife. Shoot, I didn't think this through. We're basically gonna go forth without a plan and see what happens. <laughs> Just gonna get our bar stools out of the way. Don't need these right now. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Oh, I think this will, oh my gosh, that is so easy. Wow, butter knives were made to be flathead screwdrivers, I guess. One, done. Just have two more. That was easy. So a huge difficulty is going to be that the first panel already has a cutout on it. So it's gonna be hard to get it perfectly aligned. I'm just gonna use a knife, a different knife, a sharper knife. Okay, a little stressed, a little stressed. 
be fine. Just gotta align this in this corner. Oh, don't try this at home, folks. Shoot, I need something flat. <laughs> We're being real resourceful here. I'm gonna use the outlet as my flat thing to, the outlet wall plate, I guess is what it's called, to get out all the bubbles. This is looking good. So I just did a terrible job of cutting around this thing, but I'm hoping once this is on, it'll like hold it and, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Obviously that looks, that looks terrible, but this doesn't look too bad. Let's get that screwed back in. So onward and upward. First panel done, and I put the face plate back on to see how it looked. And I'm just a little nervous about lining up the second panel. I might have to cut it from the top, like here. Does that look aligned almost? That's so hard. Okay, I think that this is as, oh no, it's not perfectly aligned, but I think that this is as aligned as it's gonna get. It's not my best work. This material, okay, I've, I've done removable wallpaper on walls, obviously, on mirrors, and now on this. And this material, this is like, there's a frame around it, but it's, it's hard. It's probably the hardest I've done. And there's, there's some pretty big bubbles, and I'm a little bit worried that since there's a little bit of like a metallic nature to this paper, that when the light hits it, it's gonna be pretty obvious. So it's not done well, but it's still an improvement over the ugly fake wood. And I'm wondering, once the, once the chairs are back, if it's gonna even be noticeable at all. I'm gonna clean up and we're gonna try. But, you know, cute pattern. It adds brightness, it adds light, which was needed. Wow, I look really tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. But okay, from afar, it, it, it lightens it up, it makes my kitchen feel more feminine, but since this is only my place now, not now, it's always been only my place, but since this is the first time I've had a place that's only my place in quite a while, I do wanna play up the femininity in some areas. And so here we go. It's kind of more feminine, right? Kind of funky. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. Better than before, still not great. So I just took Max out and I have a daily harvest flatbread in the oven for dinner. And um, what I've been doing a lot lately is I've been having really busy days trying to say yes to as many social things as possible because I know that's important right now. And in order to not just feel super overwhelmed by that, pretty much all of my nights have been really chill. I try to catch up on work things, computer work, which I never used to do. I used to get all of my computer work done first thing in the morning, but now I've been like saving it for the end of the day because I have a little ritual of like eating dinner, sometimes doing a self-care thing, whether it's like a face mask or tonight I wanna to try that hair mask that we got. Um, and then having something on on the TV in the background. Um, and I really looked forward to that part of the day. Every night's a self-care night during this season of life, am I right? <laughs> Hi, happy Sunday morning. Just wanted to give you an update that um, I am back at the same church from last week and this time meeting friends here, meeting a couple friends that I just organically met around my apartment that happened to go here. And then also a friend, the friend that I went to go get lunch with from a different campus of Mosaic is also wanting me to try it out today with her husband. So they're gonna be here too. So I'm already integrating into a church. I thought you'd be proud of me to know that because I'm proud of me. And this morning too, it's like 10 a.m. but I've already had a friend over to my apartment for coffee lifelong friend. Actually, our dads have been best friends since high school and now our business partners. <laughs> a long, long time friend. And there's a chance we actually might go out and see my parents this afternoon because they're going to be at a winery about 45 minutes away. And they asked me if I want to come and I'm like, I don't drink, but I'd love to see you. So that's a possibility too. It might be a really good Sunday. Just wanted to say hi and update you as to my church search because I think it's going well. <laughs> I now present to you an example of Max's coordination. He's like his mama. He's not very coordinated. Ready? We're gonna catch it. Oh, that was pretty good. He's like the camera's on. I'm gonna prove him wrong. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> I came home for a little bit to take him out and wear him out. Maybe take him on a pretty good walk. Mm -hmm. And then I am gonna go meet my parents. 
And you know what I was thinking about on the way home? I was in the car and I was like, I think it's been like four or five days since I've cried. And I know that healing isn't linear and emotions aren't linear, but it's still something to note and something that made me kind of happy. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Hi. 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 Oh, look, it's everybody. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> we are at Hawk Shadow, a vineyard kind of outside of Dripping Springs, one of mine and dad's favorites. And it's, look at the views. It's very pretty. They make an estate wine. I mean, they have grapes from their own estate. We need to be shorter for dad. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> that means their grapes are right here from, grown oh, right here. Oh! A lot does of, that mean it's a not lot of, very good? No, we love it. We actually love this really? wine. Really? Because a lot of times the vineyards around here, they bring grapes in from the High Plains, like oh, Lubbock, yeah. Lubbock area. But this Kinda vineyard text actually, panhandle area. Mm. this vineyard grows their own grapes and makes some estate wines. Wow. And they're good. They're super That's good. That's cool. They're way too good. Oh, yeah. actually, you know what's so funny? Before it gets dark, this was, this was per help. mom's request. Oh. And she didn't even know oh. that I was working with them on this video. <laughs> oh. I love this stuff. Oh, seriously, you're yeah, working. You're working I worked with, with them on this video. Okay. This helped my back this week. Thank you so much. This is um, this is the Equilibria Relief Balm. Hilarious. And it's like topical and it's kind of cooling, but it also has a CBD in it. And we literally, she was using it at my house earlier this week, and stuff. loved it. And so I got her one, not even fully processing that this is the vlog I was working with. Hilarious. <laughs> I know. Good stuff. Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. Yet it's a bit I won't pretend that it doesn't matter That you're with someone else mm. In a way that's how it's supposed to be If I'm unable to make you happy Then it's for the better That you are not with me That's why I wrote you a letter Cause you see, I write so much better than I speak And I need to tell you, you were my best friend Till the end, I hope I'll And I'm home. It was a long day. It was a good day though. We did a lot this vlog. So before ending, I just wanted to say thanks for coming along for Friday, Saturday, Sunday with me. And also thanks again to Equilibria for partnering with me on this video. I will have all of my information, code, link, everything in the description down below, along with any other links you might need, timestamps, if there's specific parts you wanna go back to, try to, try to organize it all for y'all. I'm out of breath, just from taking Max on a walk. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all out.